Have you ever taken a bunch of movies just to realize you're going to have to deal with the AVCHD format and post? You open up your AVCHD file, you see all of your great movies, you select them all, and you try to export it, it's grayed out. You select one, you try to export it, it's grayed out. You try to drag it to the desktop, and you can't. So you open them up in QuickTime, export is 1080p, save it, close it, and do this all over again for each one of your great movies. Well, I have something for you, unless you're a PC user. Then go get a Mac, and then I'll have something for you. It's so hard making software look cool. Hey everyone, I'm Bill, and today we're going to be talking about exporting your AVC, HD, and MTS files using a simple script I developed. If you're new here, welcome. I use this channel to showcase my lessons learned as I work on the documentary film, The Fish Hook. What is The Fish Hook, you ask? It's a documentary film about the Marines of 4th Light Armored Reconnaissance and their deployment to Afghanistan in the fall of 2009. Be on the lookout for the trailer that's coming soon. Let's talk about AVC HD files. If you've worked with AVC HD or MTS files, you know that they can be a little bit difficult. Some players don't like the MTS format and if you convert to MP4, you'll have to use QuickTime and convert them one at a time. It's a slow process. I created a simple script that will convert all of your MTS files to MP4 format losslessly and for free. That means no loss to audio or video quality. It will mean that you have to use a terminal, but don't be intimidated because we'll do it together. Are you ready? Okay, first, download FFmpeg. FFmpeg is a multi-purpose tool that does a number of different things, but most importantly, it'll convert the MTS files within that AVCHD to MP4 format for us. Download this binary and place it where you keep apps. I created an FFmpeg folder in my applications and dropped it there. Next, download my script from GitHub at the link in the description. Place this anywhere you want. Open the script with the text editor. And update the FFmpeg variable to the location of your FFmpeg binary. If you place your binary in the application's FFmpeg directory, you don't have to do anything here. Now, insert your memory card into the reader and browse to the private directory. Why it's called private, I have no idea. I don't think anyone knows. I would have named it movies or videos or elephant. Anything would have been better. But this video will get pretty long if we start questioning the AVCHD format. It's called private, let's move on. Navigate to private, you'll see AVCHD. Right click, choose show packet contents, and you'll see BDMV. We'll do the same thing. Right click, show package contents, and stream. Double click stream. And finally, you'll see all the MTS files. There you are. Now open the terminal, go to the directory where you place the script you downloaded from GitHub. For me, I placed this on the desktop. You can change directories by typing cd space and the directory. For example, cd space desktop. Change the permissions on the file to allow execution. Do this by typing chmod space plus x space avchd dash export dot bsh. Okay, stop. This is where we talk a little bit about hackers and security. You shouldn't trust anything that you download from the internet. Do your research, look up FFmpeg so that you know it's a legit software tool that can be trusted.
You can also use virus total to scan the file to ensure it's safe. You can also scan this with antivirus software before you execute it. Look at my script to make sure it's safe. I added a lot of comments so you could follow along to see what it's doing. It does a bunch of checks and then it loops through each of the MTS files and converts them to MP4 using FFmpeg. These files are safe, but you shouldn't take anyone's word for it. Let's get back to converting the files. Type dot slash avchd dash export dot bsh. Before pressing enter, Drag the finder window with the MTS files right into the terminal. You'll see it adds the path to those files on your memory card. Optionally, you can add another directory to where you want the output files to go. You can skip this step or follow along if you're feeling comfortable. I'll create a directory and open it so we can watch it fill with our new files. Now hit enter and watch it go. When it's done, you'll have all your mp4 files in your output directory. If you didn't create that output directory, the script will create one for you named, you guessed it, avchd-export. If you inspect the files, you'll see that it has H.264 encoding, meaning it's high definition, lossless compression. Okay, there you have it. That's an easy way to convert your movies from avchd format. Next time, just open your terminal, do that dot slash avchd dash export command, and you're all set. You don't need to do the chmod command or anything else before it ever again. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please hit that like button. Tell me, how do you deal with your MTS files, or do you? Are you a PC user and you can use something like this? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe so you can find out more about the Fishhook documentary and that trailer that's coming out. All right, until next time. If you worked with AHV, if you worked with AHCHD, AVCHD, AVCHD, AVC, ugh, AVCHD. If you've worked with A, if you've worked with A, if you've worked with AHVH, AV, if you've worked with AH, if you've worked with AVC, if you've worked with AVC, if you've worked with AVA, AVC, if you've worked with AHC, if you've worked with AVC HD,